Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and we are going to be celebrating New Year's Eve a day early. Because it gets so busy during the holidays, Disney likes to do their New Year's Eve celebrations on December 30th and 31st here at the Magic Kingdom. So they're going to have a special fireworks show, a DJ dance party, and I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Of course, I'm going to be at Epcot for the official New Year's Eve celebration tomorrow night, but I think it's really awesome they get to experience both parks for the holidays, and it's really amazing. I really love the fact that they do the New Year's Eve fireworks on the 30th and the 31st because they only do it uh, in Epcot on New Year's Eve. So you get to come to Magic Kingdom on the 30th and then go to Epcot on the 31st. And these fireworks are amazing. They shoot them all around the Magic Kingdom Resort Loop. They actually shoot them off behind the train station. And today on the 30th, they're doing it at 6.30 and then midnight because Magic Kingdom is open till 1 a.m. tonight and tomorrow. I decided on buying some cool 2023 merchandise. I got myself the special 2023 ears. These light up. I think I actually might wear them tomorrow while I go to Epcot. And then I got the new calendar for the year. And I like this. It's got nice pictures on the back here. It's very, very fancy, very cool. And actually the calendar was only $13 in my annual pass. So that was kind of shocking. I can definitely assure you being uh, in Disney on New Year's Eve is probably the busiest you'll ever see it. It is so crazy and tomorrow night at Epcot it's going to be like so much fun. It's like a non-stop party. You celebrate the New Year's by the time zones in different countries like the UK and France and it is just amazing. Tonight I don't think it's going to be so busy. Like I said they got two fireworks shows and a lot of people like to watch the fireworks from the resorts because they actually shoot them out like over there so I'm hoping it's not too bad and I think we're gonna watch the 630 fireworks show I wanted to come over and show you guys the wait times and you can see fantasy in the sky fireworks 6 30 p.m. and 11 50 p.m. and that's gonna be tonight and it looks super busy here Big Thunder Mountain is 80 minutes Jungle Cruise is 80 minutes uh, Space Mountain was like 125 minutes I saw before yeah 150 minutes for Seven Doors Mine Train so it is kind of crowded but nothing compared to tomorrow I definitely want to try to do a ride and also get something to eat before the fireworks and I'm going to see what they have available on the walk-up list. I would love to try to get into the plaza because I haven't eaten there in a while and now that they have signature cocktails, I want to see what they have to offer since we already did Tony's and uh, Skipper Canteen. Holy moly, look how crowded it is back here. Wow. A sea of people. Yeah, this one's tight. I have never just walked into a gigantic sea of people like that before. That was a little intense. Like literally, when I say shoulder to shoulder, like I was shoulder to shoulder right there. Just to give you an idea, It's a Small World is a 60 minute wait. Look at this. It is so busy. <laughs> I'm just kind of, and I thought it was going to be not as busy today. I thought it was going to be busier tomorrow, but I don't know. Look at, I've never, wow. I'm starting to think my chances of getting on a ride is getting very slim. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. It is so crowded, I'm starting to get all hot and steamy. So I think I'm going to pull over and grab something to drink. Maybe a frozen drink, something to cool me down a little bit. I think I'm gonna head into Gaston's Tavern and get myself a LeFou's Brew. I haven't had one of those in a while and I really do enjoy them. It's kind of really nice here with the uh, antler Christmas decorations too. I haven't seen those because I don't really come back here that often. And here it is. We got the LeFou's Brew and I couldn't resist the temptation of the mighty cinnamon roll. Look at this thing. Look at this cinnamon roll. That is so big. And of course, some extra icing on the side. You always got to ask for extra icing. They don't even charge you for it. I don't know what they're supposed to, but they give it to you for free. And uh, yeah, I'm going to dive in. I probably shouldn't have gotten this because I am going to get something to eat later. But I needed this and I couldn't get this and not pass up that, you know? 
If you're not sure what the Lafruz brew is, it's a frozen apple slushy with a hint of marshmallow and then some passion fruit mango foam on top there. And it is really very refreshing. Ah, much too good. Ah, the apple's really good. I remember I did a thing where I was comparing this to butterbeer. Butterbeer wins hands down, but this is actually a really like nice little treat that's different in the park. So come back to Gaston's Tavern if you ever want one. Ooh, and here comes the Seven Doors Mine Train. It's fun sitting here watching <laughs> the, the mine train actually go by as I'm eating some Beauty and the Beast themed food. And oh man, I cannot wait to dive into this roll right here. It looks so good. I'm gonna do a little twisty, a twist and pull here. <laughs> And then, like I said, you get the icing, a little dibba dibba do, just like that. And you got yourself a delicious cinnamon roll. Oh, here comes the mine train right now. Cheers to a little cinnamon roll. So good, wow. I really don't know what that is in there. It's like maple, like, like butter pecan, I don't know like in the center there, but it's so good. You gotta eat the center of the roll first, like that's the best way. Oh! Then you can take a little bite, and a little sip. All right, enough of the cinnamon roll business. Now it's time to move along. Even though that was very delicious, like I said, I do wanna get like an actual dinner or something to eat later on, not just like a snack. So we'll have to see what we get. I wonder what Seven Doors Mine Train is at now. Watching it actually go by really made me want to actually ride it. <laughs> oh, nope, it's like a 155 minute wait. <laughs> I have been walking around for probably a good hour now since the cinnamon roll and it's just so busy. I don't know where I can go or what to do. Like I thought about maybe the people mover so I made my way over to Tomorrowland, but that line is also so long. I mean, I'm sure I could have probably rode a ride by the time I've been just walking around for like an hour or so. But you know, it's tough because I want to make sure I have enough time to get out front to watch the fireworks and like I said, get something to eat. But uh, like I said, I feel like my chances of riding a ride before the show is going to be very slim. I think I'm just going to call it quits for right now. Start making my way back down to the front of the park near the castle and see what it's like as we line up for the uh, fireworks. Before we do that, I have to swing by the Tomorrowland Terrace though and I have to say hi to a friend who is, uh, I think, here for the treat and seats dessert party. But I'm not too sure where he's at. Hey, Tyler! Happy birthday! So yeah. It was fun to run into my friend Tyler. His grandmother uh, kind of set it up and she told me that uh, he was going to be there for the treat and seats and I was able to go and surprise him. So I hope you have a great new year, Tyler. It was awesome to meet you. But now you can see it's definitely starting to fill in for the fireworks. So I think we're going to have to find a spot and hold it down for a little bit. Look at it. It's so beautiful out right now, though. Man. I really do love the sunset that's happening back over here. It's like a golden hour. Now the fireworks should be shooting off like there, there, there. It should be 360 all the way around the Magic Kingdom. As you can see, it is very busy. Look, I got Chris right there, Maria, LBB TV, and it should start any second now. In just a few minutes, the Magic Kingdom will proudly present our very special New Year's Eve Fantasy in the Sky Fireworks Spectacular. In order for you to fully experience tonight's presentation, the lighting around the Magic Kingdom will be reduced. For your safety and the safety of others, we ask that you remain in the same location until the lighting returns to normal.
the sparkling spirit named Tinkerbell. Legend has it that to this day she still flies over this magical land of fantasy. And the story is told for children of all ages that if you wish hard enough and believe strong enough, Tinkerbell will soar high above the magic kingdom and light our fantasy in the sky.
Look at the sea of people here. <laughs> the fireworks were delayed. <laughs> Looks like they didn't do the 360 fireworks and they had some technical difficulties after the show ended they shot off the fireworks that are on like the sides and I thought that was kind of cool at least they shot them off I mean once they're loaded they have to go off but I don't know if the 360 was due to technical difficulties they might do the full show later on tonight either way though it's beautiful I really do love that show the music is so much better like I feel like I wish that was like an all-time show. Like I loved all the songs that they played. And then the beginning, like Disney intro, you guys know the song that I'm talking about. Do -do, you know, I'm not gonna try to hum it because I'll probably really mess it up. But that is such an awesome song to hear during the fireworks show. Now we're gonna try to make our way out of here. It is so crowded. We're gonna try to make our way out of here now. It's a very tight situation, tight corridors though. The good news is at least it's snoping. It's snoping. Oh hi, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's snoping and I like it. It also looks like they just started the DJ dance party on the castle. They're playing uh, like kind of like regular music, not Disney music. Like it's really funny. It's actually cool to see. And look at it, especially with all the snow. They're really snoping it up right now. This is intense. You know Disney's expecting a busy night when they blow up the inflatable signs that let you know the monorail's this way and the buses are that way. Look at that. They're, I mean, at least, I guess it's better to be prepared because it was crazy getting out of the hecticness of Main Street USA right there. I think I'm gonna actually make my way out to the monorail resort loop and see about getting something to eat. As soon as you get out like on the monorail itself, you can start hitting the uh, now function and you might be able to pop up with a walk-up reservation. And there's not much I can get here. I tried to get in the plaza, but that wasn't happening tonight. It's way too crowded in here. So maybe we'll get some luck out there and find a nice little fancy restaurant. Maybe Steakhouse 71 or Ohana. I'd love to do some Ohana. If we could do like a drive-by, like as we're going by the Polynesian and hit it, that would be, that'd be pretty fun. I waited for all of the people to actually leave. I know there's still a lot of people actually inside the park. It's so funny, you can hear like Bruno Mars playing right now. But uh, the fireworks ended just about an hour ago and I just sat there on Main Street and it looks like the monorail like station's clear. Look at all the lights out here. 
I just got a little bit more information about the 360 fireworks. They did shut down the ferry boats, and that means they were do they were planning on doing it. But uh, I think they just had technical difficulties. That's why the ferry boats are back open now, but they're closing for the 11:45 uh, fireworks. So maybe later on tonight they're going to do it. But I think it wasn't like I I'm sure a lot of people were sitting there thinking like, oh, cutbacks and then do the fireworks. But I think there were some technical difficulties there. That's why they had the delayed uh, launches on the ones that were on the side of the castle. And just like that, I was able to grab a walk-up reservation for Ohana. And now we just gotta wait for our name to get called. You actually have to get close. Like there's like a certain distance that uh, it'll allow you to actually join the walk-up list. So we kind of lucked out. Like I mentioned before, a lot of people like to come to the Polynesian to watch the New Year's Eve fireworks because it's got a beautiful view, but over the years they have been changing it up a little bit and you have to have a wristband. So you have to be a resort guest to actually go out to the beach to watch the fireworks. And I'm pretty sure that even if you get a dining reservation, you still can't go out to the beach. I mean, I've already seen the fireworks tonight. I'm just here for Ohana, but I wanted to point that out because I seen the wristband and distribution like little setup area there and uh, they said that it's just for resort guests that's it so uh, if you do plan on coming just let you know like maybe next year or even tomorrow uh, you have to be a resort guest to actually go out on the beach and watch them I think since we have some time we might just go hang out outside on the Tiki Terrace area there maybe grab a drink and just relax and uh, like I said wait all we have to do is uh, wait for our, our text to come through it's so funny because this is gonna be like my last meal as I head into the new year. I mean, my last big meal because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be eating much at Epcot tomorrow night. Maybe something from the stands, but like no sit downs. And I couldn't think of a better way to end it than Ohana. This is my mom and sister's favorite uh, restaurant. We actually ate here when they came down, but that was also one of the days where I didn't uh, make a video. We just kind of like had family dinner together. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited. I can definitely go for some more ton of noodles and oh and the dumplings and some shrimp oh it's gonna be a good meal I just found out they have a special New Year's Eve Dole Whip that they're selling tonight and tomorrow only and it looks like there's a crazy long line to get it look at this holy moly here is the New Year's float and it's Dole Whip with passion fruit orange guava juice topped with the 2023 white chocolate medallion, popping candy, boba balls, and a cocktail umbrella. So a New Year's Eve, a New Year's Dole Whip. Sounds really fancy, so maybe we might come back afterwards. It looks really interesting, but that is a super long line, so I think maybe after Ohana. And by the way, they just called our name. And here it is, Ohana. I'm so excited. This is gonna be such a great meal. I mean, I'm going all in on the noodles. It's so funny that I'm coming to Ohana and I'm by myself because Ohana means family and no one ever gets left behind. And I'm so, like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite restaurants and I can't wait to show you guys all the food. Too bad we weren't staying for the fireworks because they would be shooting off right there. You can see the castle actually peeking up, but that's not for another, uh, well, it's only nine o'clock now, so <laughs> it's got a quite a long time before the next fireworks show, but they would pump the music in here, even though right now uh, they have just the ukulele player walking around. Oh, you see him right there. He's really fun. He's really good. <laughs> Ohana is all you care to enjoy and it's $59 a person so you get a lot of stuff you get the noodles the wings the pot stickers steak chicken shrimp the works and it's worth it every penny also your drinks are included and I had to go with the classic pog juice right here it's so good and you get as many pog juice as you want i also have a polynesian pearl over there but that is not from here this is from trader sam's and it's from earlier on from a friend so it's really cool i got to bring it with me because when you buy the drink you get to keep the cup or you get to keep the pearl first things first they're gonna bring out the pineapple pull apart bread which is so good and then they're gonna bring out the noodles the chicken wings 
the pot stickers, broccolini, and then the main course, like I said, is the steak, the chicken, and the shrimp. And I love the shrimp. I'm gonna go hard on the shrimp. Here is the bread and the honey butter. You can actually see the honey just coming apart there. And I love this bread. But you don't wanna fill up on it. You definitely want to save it because you got so many good good things coming to you, but you can smell the pineapple. Much too good. I do like everything here at Ohana, but I could probably just go for just the noodles, the shrimp, and the, the uh, dumplings. Because those are just my favorite things. I love them so much. But the bread is good too, but I'm not no rookie. And the feast has arrived. Look at this. We got the noodles, the broccolini, the pot stickers. I called them dumplings earlier. And then the wings. They only gave me two wings in there though. Don't they know me, Tommy, me like wingy? I mean, <laughs> that's gonna be, uh, you know, I definitely might get some more wings, but they did give me a hefty portion of noodles. And since I'm by myself, I don't have to put it on the plate. I can just eat right out of the skillet. Let's dive into the noodles first. Look at this. Oh. These are so good. I remember when Ohana first opened up, everyone was just so excited to get noodles. They were, I, I just love them so much. Amazing. Now some some of the uh, pot stickers. Chef's kiss. You can get as much as you want, or you can just ask for like certain items. So like. It's gonna take me a while to eat up those noodles, but I might get some more pot stickers and maybe one or two wings, you know? I mean, the wings are pretty big though. They didn't even give me a flat. They did me dirty like that. They gave me two, they, <laughs> they, they, they gave me two drums, no flat. Look at that. I'm team flats all the way. As I was snacking on my wings, they brought over some teriyaki steak. Look at this. A lot of portions in there. They gave me quite a bit of steak here. Let me see, grab a little piece. I like it, they, they have it in chunks. I do miss the skewers so much. I don't know why, I just feel like, I mean, I know they cook them on the skewers and then just like put them on there, but I just miss the, the feel of the skewers themselves. They used to bring around the table, kind of like the Brazilian steakhouse style. I have to say the steak is probably my least favorite thing here. Like, isn't that crazy? Like normally, cause you know, I love steak. And if you get the chicken, I like to ask for it without, or the chimichurri sauce on the side. I think it tastes better with it on the side. Uh, but the steak, it's just, it's not, it's, it's not the best. It's not the best quality steak, you know? Oh boy, the peel and eat shrimp are here. Look at this. Oh, this is what I'm happy for. And at the end of the meal, they give you nice hot towels because my, uh, my fingers are already getting pretty sticky in between the teriyaki and the chicken wingy. <laughs> the chicken itself is just chicken thighs. Like, uh, it's bone in. I think before they used to have like non-bone. I think there was just chicken on a skewer, but it's still very good. I like it a lot. Especially, like I said, without that chimichurri sauce. And just what I needed, the hot towels. Look at this. You might be able to see the steam coming off them, but this is what I need it. Oh yeah. I'm throwing in the towel. I mean, I am pretty full. I've eaten lots of shrimp, had tons of noodles, but the Ohana bread pudding is still coming. And that right there is something you do not want to be full for when it comes because it is so good. Here it is, the bread pudding a la mode. And it comes with the caramel sauce, but honestly, a lot of people dump the whole caramel sauce on there. I just like a little bit. Not like a little bit like syrup, but like a little bit and that's it. Like that's good enough for me. I like to taste the bread pudding. I don't want it soggy. You know what I mean? I like, I like how the, the texture of this bread pudding is. No one's got time for soggy bread pudding. I also don't like putting the ice cream on there either. So I take like a scoop of ice cream just like this and then I get the bread pudding and I add it to the spoon instead of all together. See? I can't do it. I am too full. I'm kicked. I'm throwing in the towel. Much too good. Ohana 
did the trick. I feel so full right now, but I gotta get home. The fireworks are gonna start soon, and uh, I'm actually gonna go home and see Gracie, and then we're gonna see if we can watch the fireworks kind of like uh, near where we live, like maybe on the side of the road. We we'll go for a nice little long walk, and uh, oh, I wanna also mention, when I brought my mom and sister here, we also went to Trader Sam's. I took my mom into Trader Sam's. She didn't drink anything. My sister, she tried some of the drinks that I got, but my mom really liked it a lot, and uh, I also have have a hat full of Ohana noodles at the moment, so that's why I'm wearing a hood. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. What are you doing, little one? What? Who? <laughs> what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Oh, yes, let me see that face. Let me see that smile. Oh, let me see that smile. Yeah. And I guess with that, we're calling it a night. I don't think I was able to catch the fireworks in time. I'm just going to take Gracie for a nice little walk, get all settled in, because tomorrow is the actual New Year's Eve. And like I said, I'll be at Epcot having fun. I'm going to try to make a video to show you guys what it's like. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for 2023. I figured I'd talk about more of you know what to look forward to in the new year in tomorrow's video, since that's going to be actually New Year's Eve. And uh, yeah. I'm excited. I think I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Change things up for the new year. You know, people like to say new year, new me. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to I just want to try experiment with things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.